Whitetail Hunter coming at you again. <clears throat> We're just uh, putting some uh, insulators on these poles, and there I am, and running some wire around it. Done spraying up top, and I went to a different insulator. My neighbor used them, and I thought they were pretty slick. I'll show you. Uh, it's a lot better when you can put in some steel poles for your corner poles. And then if you need to, just use those step-in poles that only go in like four inches to space your wires out. The only time you'll need to put in another steel pole is if you drop down in a big ravine because if your wire is going way down and you have to go to your other end, it'll be trying to pull up on those wires and it would pull your fiberglass ones out. But if you're going over a hill, or that's fine. Or if you're on the flat. If not, you can get away with your staggering your corner poles, one inside wire or one outside wire, ribbon, two inside wires, turbo tape wires. And uh, I was using 10 and 24. I'm going 12 and 24 on the inside and 16 on the outside for the ribbon. And these are pretty slick because you don't have to pull the whole thing out and start over or re-thread it or whatever. It's just a pin if you haven't seen them. They're easy to do if you got two hands, but you can have it in there and just run your ribbon or your wire through there. Just leave it in, but if you come to a knot or something, you can pull it out or you can come back and put something in later and then you can tighten it up from one place on the wire anywhere and they just snap right out of the pole so uh, I really like those this first time I've used them I went and bought a bag of them they come in bags of 25 or 50 or whatever so uh, I'll just have four main poles steel poles and one wire on the outside and two on the inside and then my Gallagher uh, unit will be down there on that pole and that'll be the S40 also, which can go four days without sun. And I really like it versus the livestock mode because some of them livestock mode, I'm sure, I guess they work, but some of them ones in livestock mode, when you watch the light, they really have a slow pulse to them. I mean, you know, deer ain't like a cow. They can slip around pretty quick, you know, and slide under something. Cows kind of mull around and might get into something for a while before they decide to you know, keep stretching her neck through it, but a deer can slide up underneath something. And at nighttime, the pulse is more like pop, 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 pop. So you got a lot more chance, I think, of stopping something with a, a fast pulse at nighttime, especially. So I was going to get a different model, and I thought I like that fast pulse at nighttime, slow pulse during the day. It's probably overkill for this plot, but maybe I'll use it again somewhere else. Anyway, I'm going to keep on wiring this up. I got to get it up and and hot before night uh it's like 90 degrees but we got so much humidity my glasses are filling with water i'm sweating like a, i don't want to say anyway uh you get this dumb the deer were down here uh when i was up at the shop eating my daggone beans while in this heat so they must know they're going to get locked out they're trying to get their last mouthful anyway this is a white tail hunter we're going to step out here for a little bit and try to wrap this up Rock and B coming at you. We're just finishing up this bottom hot wire on this bean plot. It's hotter than a five dollar pistol out here, I'm telling you. We got her set up. We got her set on game mode. Just more or less tie the wires together. It ain't no rocket scientist. 16 on the outside and 12 and 24. And you got your ground rod, good long ground rod. <clears throat> it's not going to be exactly the same everywhere, but you push in posts, kind of help. Level it out a little bit. This is a little bit more level than I thought, but basically, they try to stick the head under there, probably try to get a little clover first. And they definitely ain't getting under both of them, but. That'll get them on top of the ears. Give them a get out of there call. <clears throat> a 
I don't know if you can see the light, you can hear it. I need to run the weed eater down here. There might be some weeds touching it, but this baby's got enough power to it, it'll end up burning them off. But I about had it today, man. I'm telling you what. Whew. Talk about the heat. I don't know how many times I had to go back up the shop. It's a lot cooler with the shop door closed and turn the fan on and guzzle some water down. We got her finished up. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll weed eat tonight still or not. I'm pretty wore out, but for now, that food plot's done. I sprayed it yesterday. We got some nice beans going on in there. These were all just broadcast beans. They're coming up nice. Top's all sprayed today. So we're going to go up the house and cool off and get a bite to eat and lay on the couch, I believe. I have really had it, man. It's not as hot today, but that little teeny bit of rain we got the other day must have been too much humidity. Anyway, it's I, Whitetail Hunter. We're out of here and ready to rest. Later. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here